So hey guys, welcome back to the React Native course of third video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the building your first program using React Native. So let's see what we are going to cover in this lecture. So first thing we are going to talk about like how to create React Native app. Okay. Now after uh, creating React Native app, so we will see how we can run the React Native app and we will understand the code is simple code snippet and after that we will uh, talk about the interview question okay so if you see uh, on yesterday so how do you create react native app command so to create react native command uh, to find the react native to create a react native app you have to know the command so, so the command you can find out here so if you just scroll down on the react native page so there is one command npx react native if a direct latest in it so I have to just copy this command okay now I have to open in my terminal okay and I'm gonna paste this it and hit enter so it will create the app okay now it started downloading the template okay uh, and this was more thing which I just want to add if you have, if you guys has not installed the uh, terminal from your if you guys don't see the terminal option in your PC so what do you have to do you have to open your Microsoft is Microsoft store and there you hit terminal like in the search bar and terminal sorry my bad not teams you have to write terminal okay and you have to download the oh you have to download that okay so you can see the first one from Microsoft okay so you install that and you will able to see the terminal on your PC okay so you can see that our app is you know creating and uh, it is downloading template copying templates and installing all the dependency meanwhile uh, I'm going to ask about uh, one interview question right now like so do you know what is the difference between react versus react native people usually ask you while giving the interview so just let me know okay so you can see that our project is created now what we have to do you have to type code space v space dot and hit enter so it will open that uh, project in your VS code okay now what I have to do so currently I am in the outside of my project so what I have to do is I have to write CD space and I have to press the tab okay so it will go on that project and press enter okay now after that we have to write npm start so what is gonna do basically it will start our server and after that to run the this project on our emulator we have to type a okay so it will start the server of our, our you know emulator and you can see that it is started installing our app like first it will open the emulator and after that the app will start bundling uh, creating okay now we have a one command because we have one file called app.tsx tsx means typescript okay but we are not going to use typescript we are going to use javascript so let's uh, you know open the app first we will talk about so you can see that this is a some boilerplate code uh, like pop style you don't I, right now you I, I don't think you have to understand this code we'll talk about this code like this this one extension which i just let you know you have to search this ex extension es7 react redux uh, native snippet so what is gonna do it will make your life simpler let's suppose you want to write a component you you want to write a component or you want to create a component okay so you don't have to write a function like this again like you know you don't have to write the whole code uh, again so it will make your life simpler by using that extension so make sure you install this extension es7 react redux react native snippet okay now meanwhile it is installing the app uh, now you can see that uh, the app get installed okay so first edit app.tsx to change the screen okay so we have app.tsx and we can see here we can do some changes uh, let if I do some changes edits so you can see here it's having a uh, edits okay let's suppose I want to make it uh, zero degree folder 
okay so you can see here it will become zero degree coder now they are telling double tap r on your keyboard to reload your apps code so if i double press the re r keyboard to it will reload the app and to debug the our app we have to type control m command so we will discuss this all this stuff later you can read about this okay so now let's uh, you know let's clean this code it basically what is if we talk about the code what is happening had some import happening and we have uh, some component okay let's suppose uh, i don't want to like let's write this code again like from scratch so if you can see here some typescript code so we are going to write this code again from scratch so first we are not going to use typescript we are going to use javascript okay so let me make from uh, tsx to let's make it jsx so it will become javascript okay now as i told you that we have to install this extension so i have already installed this extension and i have to just type r and f e s react native functional export with style sheet so it will create the component so that is the profit of using this extension so if you are not using extension so what you have to do you have to write this whole code again and that's why i suggest you use the es7 extension okay now if i do some changes here uh, hey guys this is your first program so you can see uh, all the changes here if i just make a save so you can see all the changes on the uh, android emulator okay and in the next video we will talk about the all the file structure and folder structure so basically to reload the app like you know to see the changes so we have to press r to install the app again we have to press a so it will install the app again okay now uh, let's move further so we have seen the like you know we should have installed the react native es7 extension also and the interview question is that what is the difference between react versus react native okay now in the next session we are going to understand the file and the folder structure of our app and please let me know guys if you have any question thank you let's meet to the next video bye bye